this is. Well, it's a lovely Sunday evening. Fresh, hair is combed, beard is combed. You gotta be fresh. Two showers a day, eat prunes, drink a lot of water, have some fresh fruit. I can't stress that enough. Now, <clears throat> with tonight's cigar, we have a beautiful, beautiful ball of fruit here. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at the flick of the wrist. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Ah. Ah, see, eat fruit. That's nice. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. All right, there you go. So now, tonight, this is a first for me. This is a first for me. Um, uh, it's just, I didn't ask for it. It's just the way uh, things happen naturally. Uh, I'm open about the people I talk to in the cigar uh, business, uh, you know, and uh, there's some guys there over at General and Forge, which is a split company, but they're still connected, obviously. Uh, it's so much history. Um, and I become friendly with them, you know. Uh, we talk about a lot of things. Uh, and, and I listen to them, and they listen to some of my input. And uh, it is what it is. Uh, interesting conversations. <clears throat> Throughout that, um, um, this happened. This came into fruition. Uh, this came into fruition last week where they asked, they said, would you like to test review this boulevard here? Now, it's doesn't say Boulevard because that's just a factory code. As far as the blend, I am privy to the blend. Um, I cannot give out the specifics. So that, that was agreement to that. So <clears throat> what is the cigar though? It's a Boulevard. And Boulevard is one of the brands I feel that under General, now Forged, uh, has so much potential. Um, because it gets so much disrespect. Um, from people that are like, wow, it's not the Cuban one, or no, 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 or the price point. Like the Confrontia gives you so much cigar. That's, that's my thing here. It's being so disrespectful tonight. What is going on here? Disrespect. Anyways, the, the Confrontia gives you so much for such a low price. Um, they could price it higher. And I almost feel sometimes the low, pro, uh, the low price point they give you on the Confrontia, uh, people disrespect them for that. Meanwhile, it's a gift. You know, it's like you get a cigar basically at half price. And uh, in guys' minds, like, oh, it's got to suck, or you know, um, I don't know what else they could do. Um, I, I see, I call cigars out. If something's not good, if something's terrible, if it's bullshit, I'm going to tell you. If something's good, I'm going to tell you. If something's great, I'm going to tell you. If something's exotic or unique, I'm going to tell you. If, it, if it's a few of those things, now it's heavy for size. I, uh, no, I did receive this. I think on. Uh, Friday, Friday, Friday. So I did leave it out in my dry box for three days, which definitely gives it a significant advantage on combustion. A little less moisture gives better combustion, better combustion, more smoke, more flavor. I can't stress it enough. It is a beautiful size. Obviously it's the Salomon. I can't tell you the size. How long is it? Maybe seven, maybe by seven by 54 at the widest point here, maybe. Maybe, and then like that. So, one of this was, I think, maybe slated. It was supposed to come out, and then, and then it didn't come out. And they're gonna hold it back. And uh, you know, that can happen, where things happen in different companies, and maybe they hold back a release for different reasons. Cause they just released the Boulevard, um, uh, Freedom Republic, which is fantastic. So that, uh, El Rico Habano. That was one of the strongest Habano cigars I ever had. I did that on Friday. I had to skip a cigar Saturday. I didn't have nothing last night. My, my palate was destroyed in a good way. Like it was just, it was so strong. And uh, I had to just, I had to, 
I had to just take it, take it back. That hasn't happened in a while. That's a very thick, heavy looking wrapper. It's nice with that small size though. Toasting is very simple because uh, that gauge in the center there's probably like 44. You know, in that little hole there. So you gotta be just toast it one match because uh, it doesn't take much, not much surface area. And then we'll watch the fire spread, Mr. Wayne. That is good. Whoa, uh, was this thing barrel aged? They didn't give me that, but this is fucking phenomenal. Oh my. That's a dark, strong cigar, but that's powerful, pungent, unique. Tons of charred wood. Pungent. Oh, initial impression is really good. Initial impression is medium to full off the bat. Initial impression is three quarter strength off the bat. So it's strong, it's dark, it's heavy, it's sweet, it's spicy, it's got everything going on, it's, it's funky. Smelling the foot on this, it definitely had some funkiness going on there. And I, like I said, I can't disclose um, on the exact uh, dynamics of the cigar. But um, you can figure that out. It's got some funky shit going on. And you see that great smoke output? You see that great draw? You could take the same cigar. And if it was right out of your humidor and it was too wet, too moist, you're not gonna get the same production of smoke. And you get less flavor, a harder draw. And you're gonna go, oh man, this cigar is a tight draw. No, I'm telling you, most of the cigars you have, it's not a tight draw. It's just too much humid, too much moisture. Give it a day or two in a dry box. Even one day, you're gonna see significant in improvement in combustion, and you have significant improvement in flavor. I've had guys that say they smoke the same cigar for years, and they dry box for a few days, and they're like, what cigar is this? <laughs> They got you believing you have to always keep it right next to that that that, that bulbita, or else the cigar is gonna die. It's because it's costing you money. It's gotta be true. Holy cow! And I'm gonna say this, and I love the Grammy Public, and that was a fantastic cigar. Fantastic. This cigar right here is on a higher level. Uh, dude, I call it Bolivar has, uh, and a lot of stuff in Forest, they have a lot of potential. Why? Because a lot of people were just shitting on these brands, thinking that, that oh, the gimmicks or their jokes or they're too cheap or this and that, or they have nothing going. The guys that are, that are running it there right now, they give a shit. It, it, I'm telling you, it's the calm before the storm. There's so much potential with new stuff coming out with Partagas over the past... You know, a few years, the Dakotas were great. The Cotado, Screw Geo. The, 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 uh, the Cotado is a great, affordable Connecticut cigar that smokes like a $10, $12 Connecticut cigar. Uh, and that's a fun Connecticut. If you're looking for a fun Connecticut cigar that's affordable, that but doesn't feel like a $5 uh, Connecticut, that they could have charged $12 for the Cortado. Uh, I can't stress it enough. Well, that's, I get, honestly, you see, it's been such a great year, 2023 of tobacco, like, like a phenomenal year. I know it's the end of the world, and the 451 people say they're coming for your children, uh, but I'll tell you what, God has grace and mercy, and he's giving us the best tobacco release in my lifetime, maybe ever. 2023 will go down as some of the best cigars, really, uh, some great tobacco, great blends. Great construction on this thing. I believe it was rolled in the Honduran factory. Eve, 
immensely powerful. Almost full strength right there. This is a ballsy cigar. Tons of milk chocolate. Tons of black and red pepper. Although it's funky. It's got something sour and pungent. I can't place. I can't stress that. Ooh, that is a hot cigar. Ooh. Oh, you wish you were smoking this right now. I'm not even, see, I can't fake shit, right? If I don't like you, right? if I don't like you, right? If I don't, if I don't like you, you, you're gonna know. People I don't like in life, they know, okay? Uh, when I smoke a cigar I don't like, you know it. I just sit there trying to get maybe some kind of pros, like, yeah, well, it worked. That's about it. <clears throat> The initial impression on this is ridiculous. That is very slow burning. Whoa, shit. If you're not holding the smoke, you're not smoking the cigar. I can't stress enough. You gotta hold that smoke. When you hold the smoke, you get the intent of the cigar. You have to get the intent. And then afterwards, you really feel like you smoked it. If you're just pat, puffing like, <laughs> and you're not smoking the cigar. <clears throat> that is full strength. Now, if they release it in a year and a half or two years from now, what they're talking about, will be a little more calmer than this. It, it probably would be after two more years or a year and a half of being in the aging room. But I don't see, you know, it's like a cigar in the beginning of aging. One to two years is not gonna kill it. This is already strong. But if it's like already been like 10 years, sometimes you're like, one more year is probably gonna be, you know, just too much. You know, you know, you know what I'm saying? It, 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 not in general, but it could be. It could be a situation where, um, you know, that cigar's on the teetering on, dropping off on, on, uh, on its power and uh, I mean, over time, we want to walk with cigars. It's always losing some, but it might be just a little bit, a little bit, and then it starts getting drastic. I don't know what the point, the point is after five or 10, like it's like what the exact time frame is, because every cigar and the temperature and humidity is kept on, you know, these different factors. But if it's this strong right now, if this comes out in a year and a half, it's still gonna be a strong cigar. It won't be this strong. That's the best Bolivar I've ever had. Cuban or non-Cuban, I can't stress it enough. It is, Bolivar is supposed to be a ballsy cigar. Absolutely strong, absolutely pungent, absolutely chocolatey, absolutely spicy to the point where it's like, and sour, like, um, I wouldn't say like sourdough, like pungently sour. Um, and I've gotten that off of uh, some of the other cigars. Um, where they get funky, you know? And I don't want to be too specific because uh, I can't give away the blend. But, um, but, you know, so I'm not saying the whole cigar feels exotic, but you ever have a, some cigars where they do some real crazy exotic shit and they get that kind of unique oddness? Uh, I, I'm, I, I can't give it away. I can't. Give it some hints, though. Whoa! Ooh, that is so strong. We're at full strength. We're at 80% darkness. Tons of charred wood, like a barbecue pit. So, so much chocolate, so much charred wood. I wouldn't be surprised if this was something in here was barrel aged. I don't know. I really can't give away the blend, though. If I did, it would help give some clues, but I, I won't. I won't. I'm having a little fun with it, but now I'm not trying to on purpose, but then now I'm like, well, fuck it. But, um, uh, no, I can't, no, I can't say anything. I can't say if it does or doesn't have even similarities with any of the other Bolivar cigars. I won't confirm or deny that either. Let's just say when this comes out, when it does, 
Maybe they'll call it the Richie, <laughs> the Boulevard Richie. The Boulevard, it is what it is. Hey, General, hear me out. What's, 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 let me think about it. Boulevard. Uh, I don't know. I gotta think about that. I gotta smoke the whole cigar before I think of what I would call this. But I'm gonna tell you right now, if it's only coming in one size like this, that's ballsy. That smoke is hot, strong, spicy, heavy. Ooh, so much charred wood. Whoa. Punching as well. So, do I like this cigar? Yeah, that's the best ball of I ever had. They're really, the guys that are developing these newer cigars, uh, they're really going balls to the wall. They actually give a shit. And the guy, Joe, uh, who sent me this, talks about that. The guys they have on these development teams with General and Forge, they really care about the cigars they make. Not that they didn't make good cigars before, but they're going above and beyond. They really want to make, not just run in the mill, you know, you had it before, you know, basic Maduro's, like, yeah, there's some chocolate and a, little, and a little black pepper, medium strength. No, no. It's 2023, baby. So I'm going to go and come back. Um, do I have anything bad to say about the cigar? Absolutely not. And just so you could get an idea of how dark this cigar is. We have basically General's like darkest cigar, which would be the Partagas Black or the uh, Cohiba Black. Right, is it Partagas Black? It is Partagas Black. Well, they have both, they have two different brands of the same name. Okay, so here's the wrapper, see? So you can see the, part of the uh, Cohiba Black is a little darker. We get an idea. And of course, if you took five different Cohiba Blacks, there'd still be uh, uh, some different shades uh, because a, a cigar, you know, it's a natural product. So, you know, but yeah, this is a very dark cigar, the Cohiba Black, and it's definitely a little more, a little more thicker on the wrapper and definitely a little more veiny on the wrapper on this, on the Cohiba Black. But this is a very flawless looking wrapper. Um, so uh, did that, that just give a reverse clue? <laughs> Maybe reverse clue. So it's not that wrapper. I could say what not is. I, I agree not to say what it is, but I didn't agree not to say what it wasn't is. I gotta call my legal team. We're gonna come back. Oh my God. Wow, that's a strong cigar. That's a strong cigar. I might do this in two parts. That way I could just do a longer video. Because when I try to upload more than one video, if it's more than like 30 minutes, it becomes a problem for my phone. You know, because I'm high tech. Bro, super slow burning. Whatever the price point is, let's say they make this a price point of $12. Because the boulevards now are going for like, Confidius are six bucks at a lounge. It's cheaper on the internet. And the other one, the Grand Republic, is going for like $8, $9. So like, uh, if they price this even at 12 for this Salamon, that would be high for Boulevard, but it'd be so low for your wallet. Dude, this is so strong. Dude, shoot, shit. So if you're into strong cigars, let's say like a My Father, and it doesn't feel like a traditional My Father. Traditional My Fathers, are, they're very one way forward thinking. Uh, lots of times like with like Padron as well. Um, but if you like those kind of uh, or strong, pungent cigars, um, I'll just be honest with you, I'll tell you what, it's better. And, and, and I, this is no disrespect, but we're always looking for uh, if something's better or not. And if it wasn't, I wouldn't tell you. I would say, no, it's not as good. Um, this is better than the Bijou. I love the Bijou. This is stronger, heavier, and more pungent than the Bijou. And I love that My Father cigar. So if you like that My Father Bijou and want something even heavier and stronger, but when I say in that category, I'm not saying pound for pound they taste the same, but they both are chocolatey, you know, but, but the power of the, of the spice on this, or the black and red pepper and the charred wood note, it's expressing it much heavier and stronger. So wowza. Oh, shit. 
shit. <laughs> We're gonna come back. I think I'm gonna do a part two because I wanna be able to put some more content with this. Um, construction is flawless. Barn is flawless, ash is flawless. Um, this, when this cigar comes out, it was wise of them to wait, even if they waited you know, six months or a year, because they just had the great uh, the great uh, Grand Republic come out, which is a great cigar. But this is even a better cigar, and it's like, maybe it wasn't smart to release two cigars at the same time. You know, let, let that cigar have its time, and it's great, and the price point's great. Uh, this will be the, this will take Boulevard to the next level. So it's this, when this comes out, it will be Boulevard's at the moment, when it does come out, will be their best cigar. Um, and that's exciting. That's a whole other factor when it comes to a new cigar. Is it the brand's best cigar? In this case, it is. This cigar is gonna crush a lot of other cigars. It's gonna make a lot of people sad. My God, that is punching. I wanna say thank you, God for letting me have this because if I wasn't breathing, I wouldn't have it. I want to thank uh, Joe and uh, Forge and General Cigars for this. I appreciate it. Uh, but they took a risk because uh, if this sucked, I would have told you. And the cigars are already made. Now it's just waiting, uh, I guess maybe branding, uh, uh, maybe final boxing, and I said advertising, and that's it. And they kind of sell it. But uh, that might be, it's probably gonna be a year and a half to two years. But it could be six months to a year. Who knows if they want to release it sooner. The point is, though, if this sucked, it would be terrible for them to have a terrible review for a cigar that didn't come out yet. Uh, so that was, a, that was a chance. But that's a chance for any cigar. That's a chance with anything. Taking a new job, taking a new relationship. You know, men take a chance. And I'll tell you right now, though, because I'm not a liar. I will not bear false witness. That goes both ways. So if something sucks, I will not bear false witness. I will tell you the truth. And this is terrible. Uh, I think I know what a good cigar is. I made over 2,000 videos, even though my Old Testament is gone. Most of those old videos, not all of them, I deleted almost over 1,500, close to 1,600 videos. It was what it was. It was a great purge. Pre-flood Richie. Pre-Diluvian Richie. But here we are, it's a new day. We look to the future. I am going to look forward to this cigar when it comes out. I'm excited, and you should be excited to hear about it, so at least you understand what's coming down the pike. Now, we'll just see how much time from here to then and how it's going to affect the cigar. We know it's going to bring it down a little bit, but being that it's in its early stages as far as, you know, let's just say this cigar was rolled six months ago or a few months ago, um, you know, um, what will another year and a half or two years kill it? No. But if a cigar was rolled 10 years ago, it wouldn't kill it, but it would really bring down this trend a lot, 10 years. Now, a strong cigar, if it starts off here, it has more to lose with time. If you had a medium trend cigar, it only has this much to lose with 10 years, if, if you let it sit for 10 years. You get what I'm saying, though? So time is relative in a sense, but, but it's always also the starting point. You know what I'm saying? The starting point. Like if a rich guy and a poor guy both lost $100 tonight on a scratch off, they both lost equally, $100. But what it means to them, that, that middle class guy is here and he really needed that money to get to Friday to buy gas for his car. And now he can't go to work. Now he lost his job. And now he's on OnlyFans, I don't know. Where a rich guy lost $100, but it took him down a little bit, but he's like, that doesn't mean shit to me. So it is what it is. The stronger you are, uh, the more hits you can take to the bank. Cash that choice. Wow, that was an odd way to deliver that one. 